What's going on guys, it's Eric here from Dose VT bringing you guys another video. As you guys can see by the title, this is how to mirror your iPhone, what I have here, to your MacBook. So this MacBook is the 2018 MacBook Pro Touch Bar, um, 15 inch, so it's not the newest one, but I'm updated as high as it goes. I just got a new update today for the next version of Kalina. Um, so, as long as you're to the most recent update, you should be able to do this. Um, you could do it on any MacBook. It's not just the one I have, so the newer ones obviously will work. The older ones should work based on the application you have to use. And I have the iPhone 11 Max Pro. You can do this on any iPhone. So, basically it's pretty simple. There's two ways to do it. Um, there's one with a the wire, then one that you can do wirelessly. Now the one with the wire is obviously gonna be better than the one that you're doing it wirelessly just because it has to send the signal and come back. So basically you're gonna have a wire, which this is the wire that I'm using, lightning to USB type C. Now if you have an older MacBook, you can use USB type A to lightning. So either one will work. Um, I'm gonna plug the one end into my MacBook and then I'll plug the other side into my phone. Give it a second here. So now it's connected, as you guys can see right there and we're charging. So all I have to do is minimize that and we're going to open up, we're going to the app launch, open up this QuickTime player. So opening up this QuickTime player, um, it just pulls this up, it's not really anything important. Then you're going to go to file, there's new movie recording, um, new audio recording, um, new screen recording so you're going to want to click on movie so when you click on movie it's automatically going to pull the front facing camera on your MacBook now you're probably wondering how is this going to connect to my phone you have to go down here to where you have this little recorder button click to the right of it there's a down arrow and then it says Eric's iPhone which is mine yours will probably say something different but that's what I named my iPhone so it'll focus here then it'll change it. So as you guys can see, that's what my phone looks like. I swipe it over, swipe it over, swipe it over. Yes, I have a crap ton of apps on my phone. I just download apps. Half of them I probably don't even use. But, so I download it, it shows everything connected to Wi-Fi. Basically, anything I can go on here, you can hit record and record what you're doing on here on your iPhone. Now, you're like, well, Eric, can it go sideways? if I wanted to. Well, obviously you can't go sideways like this. So if you go into, I'm gonna go into Chrome, flip it sideways, it goes sideways on here. So as you move, it's pretty responsive. Um, there's really no lag too much. So you can do it sideways, you can do it vertical. You gotta give it a second to load, but um, that's how you do it full screen. So if you wanted to watch like a YouTube video or something, like if you went into here, wanted to watch a YouTube video, you can click in one of these videos. Okay, so that's pretty simple. Now, the next way is a way that um, isn't as simple and it will cost you some money. So I unplugged my phone. I haven't bought this yet, but um, it's 18 bucks. If you've seen older videos, um, it was cheaper, but now they raise up their price. As you guys can see, you can take your iPhone and mirror it straight to your MacBook with no wires, no nothing. Now this is called Reflector 3. So um, you can try the free seven day trial. Obviously do this first before you spend 18 bucks. Just spend 18 bucks because you're like, that's not a lot of money. But you could probably spend that 18 bucks on something else that you might need like a new, cable that will have the wire connection for you and it'll be quicker and more responsive. You can see other YouTube videos on YouTube about what this does. I just want to show you guys this is another option that you can use. I just haven't bought it. I haven't tried it yet. I've seen people on YouTube do it and it works pretty well. Obviously it's a little laggy because you're sending a signal from your phone to your MacBook so it's not going to be very fast. Now you can do this on Apple or Android so it's not only to Apple so I, I imagine that's why it's a little laggy because it has to understand you're using a MacBook and you're using an iPhone so obviously there's going to be connection loss when trying to send the signal 
but you just download it, um, open it up, you'll connect to your phone, so you'll go into, open this up, you go into screen mirroring, it'll pop up Refractor 3, you click on it, and then your phone eventually mirror to your MacBook. But it's pretty simple, those are the two ways. I just like to connect mine with the wire. Granted, if you're a person that doesn't like to carry wires, um, then this is another option to go with. But if you always have a wire because your phone's always dying because you're always using it, then um, having the wire shouldn't be a problem for you to mirror your screen. But there you go, guys. I just want to show you something cool and simple if you were curious about it or wanted to know how to do it. So there's a free option. Then there's a paid option. Paid option could be worth it at the end of the day for you, depending on what you do and if you don't want to carry a wire around with you. But I assume you could carry a wire around with you if you also had your MacBook with you because you're probably just not going to carry that. You put it in a backpack, which means you probably have a wire to charge your phone up. So it all makes sense. Maybe not buy something that uses um, a wire. But there you go, guys. If you have any questions, leave them down in the description. I'll try to answer them to the best of my ability. But thanks for watching, guys. Peace.